Hello everyone. Today I have a special movie review that um and please ignore my hair. I just got out of the shower and just blow dried it, so I know it looks whack. Uh recently um discovered a uh, a really good independent horror film that's really great for Halloween. And um if you're on my Facebook, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about by now cuz I've done a Facebook review on it. Yep. Uh and this movie is Haunted House on Sorority Row. Yeah, like just seeing this, the cover had me here, I'll show you the cover. Just the cover had me wanting to see it. It looks great. And the movie's great. It's really creepy, it has really good effects. Uh no CGI, which makes it even better. I mean I don't have anything against CGI but Nowadays, Hollywood just uses CGI way too much. This one, they used whatever they could find. And it was... They did such a wonderful job on it. Who is they, that might a, you might ask? Well, if my internet would hurry up and load, I could tell you a little bit about them. Luckily, um, their names are on the back of the cover. This movie was directed by Henry. We Henry. Screw it, I'm calling him Henry. Hope he doesn't get mad by that. It stars the lovely Aaron R. Ryan. So if you're watching this, Aaron, I'm really hoping you're not because my hair is a mess and I'm pretty sure you were probably laughing hard. But. What a wonderful job you did. As I stated before, your character had me on the edge of a seat because I thought you were going to start spinning around or something or having a demonic voice or become possessed. Either way, in the end, the movie, everything, you did a great job. Congratulations. And let's not forget the upcoming Scream Queen herself, Haley J. Madison who is gorgeous, might I add. And I cannot wait to see Henry's second film, Babysitter Massacre. And I will be doing a review on that as well. If you have not seen this movie, I recommend you go straight to Amazon right now, type it up and get it. All the characters in this movie are likable, except for one. And that is Jim, played by Eric Whitting. Sorry, Eric. I mean, you did a great job with your character, but your character was such a dick. I mean, I was so glad what happened to him. I'm trying not to spoil anything, but I am so glad what happened to him, but that scene was so gross. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can't deal with puke, I mean, this puke looked really gross. And there was a shower scene where this woman had puke coming out of her mouth and she was rubbing it on her body and it, it still makes my, tump, my stomach turn. I know it's not real puke, but it looks real and it makes me feel like it's real. So that, this movie makes me feel a lot of ways. It really caught my attention when, I mean when I started watching it at the beginning, I was like, this movie's going to be like one of those really cheesy low budget movies and I'm probably not going to like it, but after the credits rolled, everything changed. I mean, it's like everything just changed. It was so perfect. So, yeah. If you like ghost movies, independent films, and horror movies, and need something to watch for this October, before October's over, get this one and Babysitter Massacre. I am also going to uh, pr promote... Um, Henry's other films for those who haven't uh, heard of them. Let's go down to director. Slumber Party, Murder Mania, I've never heard of. Faces of Schlock. Babysitter Massacre I got in the mail soon. A Bulldog for Christmas. I know he was talking about that in the behind the scenes. Um, you can look that up. I've never heard of it. Scare Waves, there's been a whole bunch of commotion about that on Facebook. Look into that, and his new upcoming movie, Awkward Thanksgiving, which gives us all who love Thanksgiving and don't really get to see a lot of 
movies for Thanksgiving other than Thanks Killing and that awful. Well, it's not awful, but it's not as good as the first. Thanks Killing Three. And oh God, that very bad low budget movie called Pieces of April. Oh, don't watch that movie. That movie pains me. I saw it one time. I'm like, what is this? But I'm not going to go into detail on Pieces of April because one, this isn't a review for, and two, it's not worth the pain of remembering. So uh, yeah, um, check out Awkward Thanksgiving, and um, I would also like to promote a um, a fellow independent director named Dustin Mills. He is wanting to make a movie called. Her name was Torment 2. So, I've shared the link on Facebook a few times, so if you could go there and donate so they can get this movie made, that'd be great. I haven't seen the first one, but I want to, and as soon as I get more money, I'm going to. Uh, he's made other movies like Bath Salt Zombies, which was good, and he also made uh, Puppet Monster Massacre, which was really funny and really good. Um, a, a puppet monster massacre. It may sound cheesy, but just just think if if Sesame Street was rated R, and yeah, without Big Bird, but mainly with like the puppets, that's what you get. It is really good. It's really funny. He also made um. Let's see what this one is. Easter Casket. Oh, Easter Casket. I've never heard of that one. I'd have to see that. Hopefully, it's better than that crappy Cottontail movie that I have.